The narcissist will leave you alone to find a new partner when they are tired and content of hurting you. Greetings and warmest welcomes to today's discourse. Thank you for joining me on this quest for introspection. Now let's talk about the post-breakup behaviour of narcissists. Why do they indulge in a hunt for their ex's usefulness, meticulously scheming their next strike? Is this an attempt to stroke their ego? Narcissists bask in compliments, a fuel that sets their ego ablaze. However, if you're one of those fortunate few who refuse to succumb to a narcissist's spell, you might notice their unyielding obsession dwindle over time. It's their certainty in losing you that distances them from your grasp. But remember, to strip a narcissist of their narcissism, you must first take away all their resources. They flee relationships once they're unable to gain from them any longer. It's short-lived for narcissists to invest in people who don't reciprocate their interest or care for them, leading to their inevitable downfall. Narcissists are sneaky about how they allocate their time and dough, so if you ain't helping them climb the social ladder, they might dump you like yesterday's news. These ego-driven egomaniacs prey on your emotions just to look good themselves. Pure power play. They get their kick from playing ping-pong with your feelings, leaving you feeling powerless. But hey, they're the superior ones, the ones who can make you laugh, cry, fall down, get back up, and laugh again. The more they can manipulate you into keeping them around, the more they'll lap up your tears and sorrows. These power-hungry narcissists manipulate the crap out of your emotions to gain attention and praise, cementing their place as the puppet master of your mind, actions, and way of life. There's something eerily intuitive about how narcissists know just what buttons to press to set you off. You see, once a narcissist has a response from you, they reckon they've got you by the balls. These manipulations take advantage of your gentle heart and end up helping only the narcissist's cause. These manipulative con artists always put themselves on a pedestal, making us mere mortals grovel before their feet. A narcissist couldn't care less about how you're doing as long as they're at the centre of your universe. Look, now that you're forewarned about their schemes, you need to stop letting emotions take control. Do not anticipate a narcissist to own up to their errors. Alas, the jokes on the narcissist, for their inabilities to predict our feelings or deduce our wants leave them disoriented. Our unwavering presence only grates on their nerves, for they've nothing to hold on to. Lying and manipulation cuts them deep. Anything that challenges them is quickly seen as an affront and must be purged. So if they're unhappy, they might skedaddle and compartmentalize you as a dispensable item. But don't be fooled, you can never underestimate a narcissist's thirst for revenge. They're selective about their battles, picking only the ones that'll rake in the most rewards. And when it comes to criticism, narcissists take it personally, taking it out on those who used to dance to their tune. Everybody needs to be quick on the draw, spotting narcissists like they're the holy grail. The easiest slip-up is showing them how you feel. You're basically giving them an all-access pass to your emotions. I once heard of someone who faked feelings just to bamboozle a narcissist. Great tactic, but it's more trouble than it's worth. The thing is, narcissists place huge importance on how we feel about them. But if we can play their game and keep our wits about us, we'll be able to stand our ground. It's crazy but true. We got to control our emotions and put on a hard-to-get show if we're going to win the game. But hey, if all else fails, just grey rock that ego till they're begging to flee. Doing nothing is the trick. No response, no fuss. Look, we all need to clasp onto this dearly. Just because a narcissist had you before doesn't mean you're theirs for life. Remember, you control your own emotions and actions. It wouldn't hurt to cut off that mental tap for good. 
You'll know when the narcissist's obsession with you wanes. Once they've got your number, they'll never let go. But even if you show them that you're on top of your game, it'll take time for them to believe it. Once they know you've got their number, they'll lose interest. And boy, does it sting when they no longer have control over you. You're wise to their sneaky ways, and they know it. That's why they'll try to shake you off or simply ignore you. Narcissists always believe they can control their prey, even if no words are spoken. So you may believe it's a no-brainer to cut off all contact with them to ensure your safety. However, they continue to claim you as theirs. The clincher is that narcissists believe their own propaganda. It is crucial that we discover success and happiness on our own without them. However, if you encounter a narcissist while out and about, be cautious. They are as common as grime, so learn how to identify them to maintain your sense of self. Do not excessively effusive, do not pander, and under no circumstances give in. Consider becoming a bolder and letting everything pass you by. Gray swaying, as the term goes. And now the secret to escaping the grasp of a narcissist is entirely dependent on how you act and feel. If you can maintain some distance between you and the narcissist, it will be more difficult for them to manipulate you. However, if you allow them to manipulate your beliefs, you are doing them a favor. If not, they will give up and release you. Remember that the narcissistic supply curve illustrates their happiness when they have more admirers. But believe me, those who escape their trap are the fortunate ones. I hope I shared something beneficial here. If you enjoyed it, please click the like icon, leave a comment with your thoughts, but more crucially, spill the beans about what you've accomplished. Thank you so much to everyone who tuned in and gave me some of your time. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that all of you can benefit a lot from all of my explanation on this channel. And I hope that all of you will be spared from the crimes of narcissists. And that your life and family will be better and more harmonious. Okay, thank you. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.